So yeah, feel free to come on in and start So this is our new showroom. Nice. Um, nice. Some lights and stuff in here. So, but like you said, it's a lot more space than the old space. Big upgrade yeah. compared to the other one. Uh, this is pretty much all we had in the other one. Uh -huh. This room yeah. here. Yeah. So is that a particular piece you wanted to see or just yeah, browsing? Remember, remember I sent you the the pictures of the Dayton? Do you have a number in mind? I mean, I know you're kind of debating if you want to yeah, let it go, know. so... Man, super clean. You, know, you want to sell it outright or you want to trade into something? Oh, I'm kind of looking at some pieces, but you know, I, I'm... I'm torn between a ceramic Daytona or mm -hmm. a like a daily, like an SD43. Mm -hmm. Another one we got one in today. You want to see it? <laughs> right there? No, Jesus. yeah, check it out. Oh, Good wow. to meet you. Absolutely. So, what we have, while we're on the discussion of the famous APH style Daytona, right. brand new, full tape, never worn. Dang. It's got all the original K stickers on it, on the, all four lugs. It's got the stickers here, here, top, sides, everything. Mm -hmm. It's never been worn. It's been brand new since 2016. And then you have one, right? Uh -huh. Is it complete? Yeah. All right. It's in nice shape too. Really nice mm -hmm. shape. It's never been polished. Do you have everything with it today? Mm -hmm. Do you have yeah. It? It'd be cool to have two of them just sitting there, side by side. 2015. Interesting. So this one's also complete. Um, in case you guys aren't familiar with the APH dials, I don't know if you can get in there, zoom in. Yeah. Let's focus on the word cosmograph. Okay, so if you look at the word cosmograph, at the very end, the last three letters, APH, it's more separated from the rest of the word itself. Thus, collectors have deemed this the APH dial. Makes it quite interesting. So, what are you hoping to do with this today? Are you hoping to sell it and sign? I'm trying to get the most out of it. If you want to get the most out of it, and you don't need, say, you don't need the cash. I'm not rushing to. You're not rushed, let's consign. Yeah. Because this, this, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Because I have two, yeah. this one's going to sell first crazy mm -hmm. fast, and then I'm going to get people behind it asking, hey, do you have another one? I really wanted one of those. So that'll help sell this watch sure, sure. because this one being like full set, right. there's a lot of buyers out there that want brand new, never worn stuff. That's right. like new old stock. They want to throw it in the safe and forget about it. If you want to do that, we can get paperwork started and get your information yeah, and then okay. we'll get done. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So the pieces you're looking at, uh, I don't know. I really like this. They just like put a diamond party. bezel, diamond dial. These just parties. That's what I'm saying. Super clean diamonds. Made dating stuff on that. Debating no, on that one here. No, 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 no. Like every. Weekend. This one here. Mom says it's too plain. Uh, that's one of my favorite ones. So I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that's, one, that's one of his favorites right there. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? These right here? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. It's for you. Yeah. Buy what and you like, like first and foremost. You know, definitely buy what you like. like. They're at the same price point. Mm -hmm. This one here, if you buy it, uh, you'll be able to get more out of resale if you decide later down the road you do want something that's full of diamonds. Right. This one here we're asking twenty two five. It is brand new, mm -hmm. and this one is seventeen five. So that's where you at on both. Mm -hmm. You gotta check out the channel, see uh, yeah. the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. That's where all the action. I mean, that's really what has like man caused our business to shoot mm -hmm. through the roof and just that online presence. But uh, yeah, I think you enjoy the. You learn a lot. I've it's been I've been keeping mm -hmm. my I've been suppressing my emotions, but I watch. Yeah, I've been <laughs> I've just been trying to play it cool. Suppress. I know everybody's name. I just I'm just trying to play it cool. I'm just trying to. Okay, we're just taking these. Okay. Understand. Which one? The one here. Yeah. And not the. No, not that one. Forty-three. Forty-three. Did you get a chance to see the watches I sent you? Um. With the Jordan Black Bay and Omega Seamaster. Uh, yeah, so to sell these, man. I don't know. are you looking to sell or consign? Uh, sell. Yeah, let me see if I can get pricing on those. I'm not so great on those watches. Let me, can I give you to uh, Dylan? He's like really sharp on those watches. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna give him your contact, have him call you. He knows those prices yeah. a lot better than me. If you want, if I can sign him, uh, how much you think they're worth? these days uh, I that's a Dylan question I, I really don't know those Omegas like he's really sharp with those I'm gonna let Dylan take this one I have an, uh, a Rolex uh, 41 they just Jubilee band okay from Dubai 
Okay. In a week. I told Danton as soon as I get it, I'm gonna go bring it to you guys. He's Why don't you just bring them down? If you're if you're a Frisco, just come down. I, the, the only two watches I, I have a Bluezy uh, Submariner 40 mm. Okay. Uh, that that's the only Rolex I have, and of course the Submariner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bring everything down with you. Those two watches, your Omega, the Tudor, the two Rolex. We can figure you something. Want me to bring him down? Yeah, at least I'd like to take a look at them, see what we can work with. Okay, I think Saturday morning is better. I'll bring him Saturday so you can look at it. Perfect. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate we'll, it. We'll talk soon. Yeah, this guy trying to write normal, but you need to see the way uh, he really writes. Go back. <laughs> go, go back. back go back. What are y'all talking about? I have no idea what y'all are talking about. <laughs> we, we walked in here. My man's over here. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Look. Oh my God, man. <laughs> Jesus. And he writes perfect this way. I'm just like, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I got, uh, that's a serious. <laughs> that's pretty. Can I, I'm gonna try. Actually, is that really how you write? It really is how you write. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Let me try. I want to try. I want to see if I can write like that. I've never tried. That's insane. Uh, Hold on. Oh, this is so weird. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't. That's I'm, I'm, in, hey, I'm look, actually look, impressed. Look, look how, you have to have some serious risk control to like do that. So this is gonna be finance. I want to get all this set up like this by next week. Basically, anytime a transaction gets completed, it needs to happen in here. Yeah, I want this set up so anyone, anytime somebody <clears throat> closes out a transaction, it can be done in here. Invoice is gonna be printed off. Um, these 8300 forms can be saved, money can be counted, all, all in private. Hey Anthony, how you doing man? Good. good. How are you doing? You doing all right? Good, good, good. You make it back to Dallas, okay? I did. Uh, I'm already back at the office, so. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. So I just wanted to circle back about, you know, the conversation we had this weekend. Um, how, how serious are you about, you know, moving forward and opening up an office in LA? 100%. Dude, I've been talking about this for months. I'm ready to make it happen, man. I have the cash ready. I actually, you know, I, I have a, an opportunity that I was looking at to buy another franchise, but, um, you know, I think that I'm going to, I think I'm going to back out of that deal and, uh, and, and invest with you instead because I see a lot of potential to grow okay. this brand with you in LA and Orange County. Okay. Yeah, dude, I'm a hundred percent serious. I mean, I've, I've, it's, it's going to happen with me no matter what. It's just a matter okay. of who's going to be with me to do it. So if you're serious about backing out of that and you want to go full time into it, like I said, like I, I talked about, um, <clears throat> putting together a map so we can visually see all yeah, of, I've already, yeah. I've already, dude, I've already like yesterday. So what I did yesterday was, um, you know, when I, when I got down with, done with work, I got home last night and, um, you know, it was just online, and I just kind of wrote down all the Rolex, AP, and Patek uh, authorized dealers in LA and Orange County. Okay. And like in, in, in LA and OC, there's like 25 Rolex ADs. Nice. Um, so it's a huge market out here, man. And right. uh, you know, there are, I, I kind of you know looked at all the great market dealers in the area, kind of pinpointed you know where we can potentially uh, you know start a new office. Um, so I'm already starting to do all that back end work. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm going to back out of this deal. You know, so that should show my commitment here, man. I'm ready to do this with you. Let's hop on okay. a call tonight. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk with Jimmy and my investor and Marco and my attorney and start seeing what all we've got to get in line to start, to start the process. But I, I can work on that on my end, on your end, it's location. I already have a majority of the locations. Now it's just a matter of like getting a map and then just doing that thumbtack thing and then uh, we can kind of pinpoint a, uh, 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 an exact location on you know where we want to put this new store okay well we'll pinpoint a few locations then i'll come out yeah. there for two days and we'll go scout them okay sounds good anthony i'll see you. i'll talk to you tonight then awesome dude right. take care all right take care guys so <clears throat> for those of you that have been watching on my personal channel you saw where I was in LA recently getting my tattoo done and I met this gentleman while I was having coffee. That night we went to dinner, the following morning we worked out and had breakfast and talked a lot. And this guy's really interested in, you know, so he owns some, he owns several franchises and he was on the verge of buying another one, which you just heard. And he is so interested in the watch business and 
so interested in doing something for fun versus for a paycheck, which is how I got started in this business. Is I didn't care how much money I made, I just wanted to have fun, and now I'm successful at it. <clears throat> he wants to do the same. He wants to just have fun. He doesn't have fun at his current job. So that's what we've been talking about. And I've, I haven't talked a lot about it on camera, but in the, here in the office and in my own planning, we have been planning on opening multiple locations for a while now, LA being the first. So this guy is on top of it. I just left LA last night, talked to him, gave him a task to do. He's already got st gotten started on that. And now it sounds like he's going to back out of a potential franchise franchise purchase to explore this opportunity. So shows me he's serious, shows me he's a go-getter and we're going to keep exploring this. And, uh, gen gentlemen, time pieces, LAX is coming soon. He's bored with his franchises. He wants to open a new business, okay. but something that's more fun. Right. So we got to talk and we had coffee, we had dinner, we worked out and had breakfast the next day. And then I gave him like a task to go scout out some locations and he's already started working on it. And he just called to let me know he's going to back out of his next franchise. Mm -hmm. He wants to do this. He wants to do watches? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So I think the idea, I get to sit down and explore the idea, but he'll come in with some money. Whatever he comes in with will match for inventory. And that'll act as a consignment hub. It'll act mainly as a consignment hub for us. Right. But essentially it'd be his store and we'll right. do some kind of profit split. We'll take inventory. <clears throat> I'll do like a, a mixed schedule where say Monday through Thursday I'm here, Friday through Sunday I'm there promoting the new store. Okay. And we'll take whatever inventory we want here, take it there, whatever it sells for there, it pays the Dallas location and pulls a profit on top of it. That's interesting.